welcome to my channel let's start with skeletal system the skeletal system made up with bones and few cartilage for easy way we divide skeletal system into two parts we divide it into two parts for our easy understanding okay the first is axial skeleton and another one is append the cooler skeletal system in axial skeletal system today we are going to discuss about axial skeletal system and after appendicular skeletal system now in axial skeletal system they made up with 80 bones in axial skeletal we will going to study about first skull second it's vertebral column third one is sternum and the fourth one is ribs all right guys let's start with skull now skull divided skull skeleton is divided into two part first is cranial skeleton and other one is facial skeleton now we were going to study one by one about cranial and facial okay frontal bone parietal bone temporal bone occipital bone they and as well as sphenoid bone and ethmoid bone these one two three four five six they whole made cranial skeleton all right and these lacrimal bone nasal zygomatic bone maxilla mandible hyoid this is the cheekbone all right they present on eye sockets okay jaws all right guys higher these are below the chin okay let's start cranial and facial total 22 bone okay cranial bones are eight in number all right because one is frontal rope two one left side and another one right side two temporal rope one this side one this side and another one temporal bone switched on the b side of ears all right guys they are two in number partial of two in number occipital bone situated at i frontal bone this is the of uh, front front brain okay frontal brain so one two three four five six seven eight so cranial nerve eight in number they form the hard productive outer covering of course the facial region is made up of 14 skeletal element the cranial made up of eight skeleton member and these are 14 skeletal which form the front part of the skull of course this is the this is the facial skeleton a u-shaped bone called hyoid this one is present at the base of the buccal cavity of course it is also included in the skull this is the also part of the skull all right guys each middle ear contain three teeny bones we all know that malus incum stapes collectively called ear ossicles we all know this what is the function of malus incus and stapes we already studied about this okay the skull region articulate with the superior region of the vertebral column now let's start with vertebral column now our first axial bone axial skeleton divided into four parts first is skull second is vertebral column third is sternum and fourth is ribs now let's start with we complete this complete now switch to vertebral column look at here these are vertebral columns vertebral column this is our vertebral column okay they made up of total 26 threes how let's count let's count guys let's count 
सर्वाइकल वर्टिब्रा दे आर सेवन इन नंबर एंड वेयर दे लोकेटेड लोकेट हेयर दिस इज द नेक पार्ट दिस इज द नेक पार्ट हाउ मच इन नंबर सेवन इन नंबर वी कैन राइट लाइक सी वन सी टू सी थ्री सी फोर सी फाइव सी सिक्स सी सेवन क्लियर लाइज नाउ बिलो द सर्वाइकल वर्टिब्रा देयर इज थोरेसिक वर्टिब्रा हाउ मच इन नंबर ट्वेल्व इन नंबर हाउ कैन वी राइट टी वन टी टू टी थ्री टी फोर एज वेल टिल टी ट्वेल्व क्लियर गाइज एंड बिलो द थोरेसिक बिलो द थोरेसिक वर्टिब्रा लंबर वर्टिब्रा इज प्रजेंट बिलो द थोरेसिक वर्टिब्रा लंबर वर्टिब्रा आर प्रजेंट दे आर फाइव इन नंबर वट एवर आई से गाइज दिस इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न हेयर और राइट डोंट कन्फ्यूज वी कैन राइट एल वन एल टू एल थ्री एल फोर एल फाइव एंड नेक्स्ट इज द स्पेस बिटवीन टू वर्टिब्रा इज कॉल्ड इंटर वर्टिबल डिस्क दिस इज इज सेक्रम वन इन नंबर दिस इज कॉकिक्स वन इन नंबर दैट्स इट दिस पैराग्राफ इज कंप्लीट वेयर आर वर्टिबल कॉलम इज प्रजेंट वेयर इन वर्टिब्रा इन वर्टिब्रेड्स दे लोकेटेड डोरसल साइड वॉट इज द डोरसल साइड एंड वॉट इज द वेंट्रल साइड वेयर आर स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इज प्रजेंट दिस जोन इज डोरसल साइड एंड वेयर आर हार्ट इज प्रजेंट हार्ट इज सिचुएटेड हार्ट इज सिचुएटेड दिस साइड वी कॉल इट एज अ वेंट्रल साइड क्लियर नाउ इट्स क्लियर आई थिंक इट्स क्लियर ओके सो दीज आर आर वर्टिबल कॉलम ओके vertebrate and it is dorsally placed we know this it is extended from the base of the skull and constitute the main framework of the trunk this is vertebral column they make our thoracic cavity they made our trunk each vertebra has a central hollow portion neural can canal through which is the spinal cord passes here the neural canal and spinal cord passes first vertebra is the atlas and it articulate with the occipital condyle what he want to say that the ending part of look at here this is the occipital condyle this is the occipital condyle they further move and form what vertebral column joining of occipital condyle and vertebral column is foramen magnum look at here now the vertebral column is differentiate into i am already explained this thing okay the number of cervical vertebrae are seven in almost all mammals including human being the vertebral column protect the spinal cord definitely support the head and the severe at the point of attachment for the ribs these are already i talk about why this is curved why this vertebral columns are curved because here to here this is one curvature for cervical vertebrae here to here this is another curvature for thoracic vertebrae hair to hair again a curvature for lumbar vertebrae so they produce curve like this like this like this hair to hair thoracic hair to hair sorry hair to hair cervical hair to hair thoracic and hair to hair lumbar okay now let's talk about the sternum part look at it i'll draw for you this is the sternum this is the flatten pony structure this is the sternum look at here this is the sternum clear okay i'm going to label now this part this part we can call it as a supra sternal notch okay c1 connected with this atlas we can call it as a atlas rib this is the atlas next next this part we can call it as a manu brium now this joining we call it as a sternal angle and this is the bone part and this process many exam will ask this thing cephoid process that's all about sternum in your book this is the one line only that's it now let's start with what let's start with ribs 
ribs are 12 pairs okay where they located our thoracic cavity each rib is a thin flat bone connected dorsally their dorsal part means backbone part connected with vertebral column their back part their back side part connected with our backbone our spinal cord and ventral part connected with sternum here this is the ventral part front side part connected with sternum and back part with connected with vertebral column all right back part attached with vertebral column and front part of ribs connected with sternum it has two articulation surface on dorsal end and it has called biocephaly because back side connected with vertebral column and front ventral side where heart is situated they connected with sternum dorsally they are attached to the thoracic vertebra of course attached with these thoracic vertebra back side they attach with thoracic vertebra and front side they attach with sternum next and ventrally connected to the sternum with the help of hyaline cartilage the 8 9 10 10 pairs of ribs do not articulate directly with the sternum but join seventh rib with the help of hyaline cartilage look at here 1 2 7 1 2 7 1 2 7 means one ribs 2 3 4 5 6 7 they are connected at dorsal side with the vertebral column and front side with the sternum dorsal side with the dorsal side with the vertebral column and ventrally connected with sternum but they called true ribs but if they are not connected with front side of sternum what kind of ribs they call false ribs means 8th 9th and 10th they are back side dorsally connected with the vertebral column but not connected ventrically with sternum they connected with 7th they connected with 7 these are 7 okay the 8th ribs connected with 7 9th also connected with 7th so they are connected like this and this and this all right i want to see that 1 2 7 these are attached dorsally from vertebral column vertebral column and ventral side attached with sternum but 8 2 10th 8 9 10th they are attached dorsally ventral column vertebral column vertebral column but at ventral side they attached with seventh vertebral column seventh ribs like this is the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7th but number of 8 that attach with like this ninth like this and tenth like this they are not attached with sternum but back side they attach with vertebral column so we can call it as a false ribs and these two 11th and 12th they are floating ribs they are dorsally attached with vertebral column but not attach inventory so 11th and 12th look at here 11th and 10th they are not connected ventrically only dorsally connected only dorsally connected with vertebral column but not attached with sternum in ventral side so this is all about ribs so today we completed skull complete okay ventral column we complete sternum we also complete sternum and ribs now we are complete this axial skeleton now in our next video we will discuss about appendicular skeleton so if you like my lecture then please subscribe and thank you thanks a lot for listening me keep smiling please subscribe and share my channel adhyan with flow adhyan with flow thanks a lot guys thank you